Merchandise Warehouse is a family-owned and run organization founded in 1951 and specializes in temperature-controlled uh, warehousing. Well, we were growing uh, to the point where we needed uh, additional space and we also, uh, in our despacing operation, uh, knew that we were inefficient and that we needed to improve uh, our operations there. Um, we contacted the associated people and and designed uh, what we thought would be uh, just a, an addition to our current facility. And then we wanted to take advantage of the latest and greatest uh, technology. What that's driven is a need for additional pallet position for storage in the deep freeze in the freezer area. And um, what that drove was uh, the expansion that they started two years ago. Then the next challenge was, well, how do we fit more material into that space? It's expensive space. How do we get as many pallets into that? Uh, volume as we possibly can. So they brought Dave Hostetler and Lee Barton in to start some conversations. Being a third-party logistics warehouse, they face challenges that uh, a, a lot of other of our clients don't share. Um, they don't own any pallet in the building. Um, they are receiving it for them, storing it for a certain period of time and sending it out when it's called for. In addition to that, they have specialized in the last few years at, at um, freezing product for customers that manufacture uh, food. Uh, me and Lee worked on a bunch of projects together um, and you know we had this blank slate. I had a, I had a cocktail napkin kind of dream about being able to change the way we do um, despacing pallets and how we do blast freezing. Uh, so I went to Lee, I was like, hey, what's the, what's the latest and greatest? What's, what's the cool stuff that people are doing out there? And Lee's like, well, I got a few things out there. And he's like, have you ever heard of a radio shuttle? So in conjunction with the core of the system, which is the radio shuttle system, they also wanted to automate what they call the despacery. So they, they have a system of spacers put into the pallets to help with the fast freezing, and before it gets put away into the radio shuttle system, those spacers have to be removed. So that's a time consuming and it accounted for a lot of the touches, a lot of the 12 touches that they were um, trying to reduce in their labor efficiencies. So Raymond and Associated really made our warehouse run a lot more efficient. Um, not only did they decrease our touches from 12 to 6, um, but we've increased our efficiency on our outbound. Um, so an outbound that used to take two and a half, maybe three man hours is taking you know one and a half, maybe less than that hours now. Um, so not only with like the radio shuttle that Associated and Raymond um, kind of helped us fine tune, um, but now we're that much more efficient on our outbound. So we added a bunch of storage capacity, but now we're also a lot more efficient. So it's like we got bigger, faster, stronger. A recent theme of ours is taking it to the next level, which means we decide what does the next level look like? How can we improve things? And Associated was on the same page with us as we tried to take it to the next level.